Greetings folks, this is the wonderful FR Sky Tyrannus X9 Lite and this is an add-on charger module so that you can charge the lithium-ion batteries in the radio. It's an aftermarket product, UR UAV series, 5 volt USB charging through the USB port there, input current 0.5 to 2.1 amps, input capacity 10 watts, charger current about 1.2 amps. Suitable for the X9 Lite and the X9 Lite Pro 18500 and 18650 batteries. Uh, there's an LED, which will be hard to see because it'll be internal, unless it shows up through the casing or something like that. We'll, we'll find out when we solder it up anyway. Charging, LED is always on when it's charging. If the LED is off, the charging is completed, and after charging, the buzzer will stop after 60 seconds. So you do get a sound when the charging is finished. So there's the little board, it's tiny, I think it goes up that way actually, and we have to solder on some wires which they do provide here and we get some mounting screws as well. You can choose 1S or 2S, uh, we'll be charging 2S of course, ground and 2S and ground and 5 volts. So, Okay, so now we've got to open up the radio and uh, see where we put it in. So the little board fits in here, so we need to connect ground and 2S into these wires here and the 5 volt needs to go into ooh, this isn't going to be easy that pad right there it doesn't come with a manual but uh, all this information is available on the Banggood uh, product page it shows you exactly what you have to do hmm, that's good, got away with that Well, that's the tricky bit. That's good. And I decided what I'll do is uh, just sort of clip them and solder that into there. Alright, we're all done. Let's see if we can blow it up. Just need to make sure. I would probably put some insulation on there as well. Yellow going to 2S. White going to ground on the battery. Red going to this one down here. Yeah, I think we're right. Alright. Okay. Alright, time to plug it in. Got 5 volts here. It's been nice knowing you. Ah, oh, seems to be working. So we've got a red, green, blue alternating LED. Apparently when that is on, it's charging. When the LED goes off, it's fully charged. And apparently we get a buzzer for 60 seconds as well. Instructions say it'll be fully charged in two to five hours, so I guess I've just got to let it do its stuff and see what happens. Here we go. Charge is finished. So that seems to work very well. We've ended up with 8.2 volts. It does take some soldering skills, uh, but if you've done a bit of soldering, it should be okay as long as you follow the instructions. Very good. Thanks for watching. System on, ready to fly.